everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the photo editing process and this one is a photo i downloaded from stock and i'll give the photo credit in my video description so in this photo i'll show you the color correction actually and i'll give that preset to you and if you want to get the preset please check out my video description and if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i will make copy by pressing ctrl j and after that you get another copy of this layer so now how to do that no plugins needed so how to do that actually this one is a, a tough task to uh, many people's but this one is not a tough or hard job so at first here is the adjustment layer and here lots of things if you can use those things or those settings properly then your photo will be amazing so at first i'll go to the hue saturation so from the hue saturation you can change all the hue and saturation and you can select the colors and everything so i'll select the hue like this to this but this to this so you can make all the things so if i make it like this and this it will be like another things like another means the orange and teal or other stuffs so after that go to the adjustment layer again and levels here's the options you can change the brightness and other things so totally changed and now again adjustment layer and the solid color and just select here and just make it soft light and double click over here color picker will appear and you can just move this one you can just look like that you can make like this this so you can change the color you can make this like amazing stuffs so hit ok let's see what was the before one before one and after one so if you need you can change other colors like here here so here is a vintage look so hit ok and then again adjustment layer and color lookup in a color lookup here is the color lookup table and the futuristic bill and i'll give that so this one is my favorite one so i'll down the fill of this one like 20 percent around 20 percent that's good so after that again adjustment layer and the uh, curves options this one is the vital tools of the photoshop just because of you can change the color or other steps that means the vital thing of your colorful photography here is three primary colors and the combination of color the red one green one and blue one and rgb that things as well so at first i'll work with the blue here is the thing so histogram here is no histogram and here is like a little bit down so i'll work with this so if you press here and just give here and give like that so it could be nice so the blue one i worked and then the green one you can do work with that or not it's up to you now rgb as well so i'll make it like this and this as well so little bit things so you can just make it up like this yeah that's fine so after that go to the adjustment layer again and the photo filter this one could change your full scenario of your photography so if you need you can change like this so yeah that's good so and then adjustment layer and the the selective color that means you can select all the things or that is the channel mixture so you can change the color mode the green and blue like this so and now 
again in a color balance in this portion color balance here is the cyan magenta and yellow and you know that the opposite side of cyan is red magenta is green and yellow opposite side of the yellow is blue so rgb and cmy this one is the rational or relationship between the two color modes we know that the cmyk and the rgb color mode and cmy is the opposite of the red green blue so you can change it like that you can like you can mix up with the c m y and with the red blue and green so here is the red one yeah red portion i just keep it plus 12 and the cyan portion i'll make it minus 4 and if i take it minus 6 in a yellow so it's look like totally different and then again adjustment layer and the brightness and contrast so here i'll make the contrast like that and brightness that's cool yeah and again here is the options the color and here the channel mixture and i'll work with the blue color yeah that's good this one is the contrast if you make it like that yeah my minus two is pretty good and then again i'll go to the exposure here is three things the exposure offset and the gamma correction so exposure you know that if you make it like that it will be more highlighted or other so i'll make it highlighted like 0.22 or 22 so then the offset offset what is offset if i make it like that or if i make it like that it will be like that that means it will be more shadow or other stuff so i'll make it 0 0.016 so that's the good things and the grammar grammar correction i'll if i make it like that or if i make like that it will be like darker or other things so i'll make it darker a little bit yeah the dramatic look or cinematic look in your photography so all the things i applied here but how i will give you that so i'll select all the effects and press ctrl g and it will be a group so i'll give the name the filter or the effect the name of the group is fx so if i change the photo or replace the photo these effects will apply on that photography so how to do that the file and place embedded options if i place this photo over here yeah it will be like that so fx is working here so you can do or you can replace your photo in this layer so suppose place and just select this photo or suppose this photo and place here and it will apply on your photography so i'm making it more easier to make it smart object so just right press this one and convert to smart object and now if you keep this effect group or fx group in upper side of your photography it will apply on your photography so like this so here is the smart object options if you double press over and it will open up new window and go to the file and place embedded options and replace your photography suppose this one is your photography so just replace this photography over here and hit the tick button and save it out so after saving this you are getting this in your photography that means the all effects are applying in your photography if you need to change the everything like the lights or other stuffs so you can do that so expand the folder that means the fx this group and go to the brightness options if you turn the brightness a little bit down it will be adjusted and if you need to adjust the filter you can adjust the filter like that if you need to change the other stuffs like the photo filter like suppose i want to make the photo filter like this or uh, you can change it out and here the channel mixture and 
if you need you can change the channel mixture like this so like that like this so you have all assumption to do that if you need to change the hue you can do that so it's totally up to you what kind of things you are just you want so if you need to change everything you are getting the assumption to do that so i'm giving this phd file please check out my video description so i think you learn a lot from this tutorial so if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye